Everybody's talking about RDJ, right? But I got excited when I heard the Russo brothers was back. I mean, RDJ is cool, but the Russo brothers, man. All right, now that the dust has settled a little bit from the 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 new announcement about the new next or the next two Avengers movies, um, Deadpool, all that stuff, I can kind of give my opinion on some of that stuff. Not that y'all care about my opinion, but I'm, I'm going to get it anyway. So, I did a video like a year ago, and I said... Marvel needs to hit the reset button, get rid of all their current directors and producers or whoever, and bring back some of the old, bring back some of the old uh, people that put these movies together. And my first pick was the Russo brothers. Everybody's talking about RDJ, right? But I got excited when I heard the Russo brothers was back. I mean, RDJ is cool, but. The Russo brothers, man. Those dudes. Like, for me, they are responsible for my top five MCU movies. So, or not top five, top three or four out of the top five of my MCU, top five MCU movies. So, for me... I was like, it's a no-brainer. Like, why wouldn't y'all keep them to begin with? Like, why would y'all let go of y'all top directors who made y'all biggest movies and bring in all these new people? And, and, and you see what we got. We got a whole bunch of trash for Phase 4. Phase 4 was just a dumpster fire. So I was like, man, they need to bring back the Russo brothers. I put that video up last year. It was, it, it wasn't, it was a short and they got like 6,000 hits. I eventually took it down. But it had like 6,000 6, hits. And, and the comments was, everybody was saying the same thing. Like, yeah, bring the Russos back. Like, they made some of the best MCU movies. So, when I heard that, while everybody was tripping off RDJ, I was like, man, the Russos? There might actually be hope. And if y'all wanted my top five movies, I get out my top five movies real quick. Well, five might five fluctuates. It's like stuff bounces in and out of the field spot all the time. Currently, I will put I got Infinity Wars one. I got even my top four fluctuate between spots. But I'd say Infinity War, Captain America with a soldier, Civil War. In game, and then I followed it up with. Um, I used to have Age of Ultron in there, then I had Spider Man No Way Home. Recently, saw Deadpool. Hell, that could be a contender for one of them high spots. Shoot, my top five. Hell, Guardians of the Galaxy 3 was solid. I don't know if it was better than the first one though, so then that would cancel that out. For now, I'm gonna go with Infinity War, Winter Soldier, Civil War, Endgame, Age of Ultron. Like I said, the fifth spot fluctuates. I'm gonna have to really sit down and think about that fifth spot. I'm, I'm watching everything again as far as like the uh, Infinity Saga. Ain't really much to watch in Phase 4, so, I mean, and, uh, recalculate what I think should be in the fifth spot. But, yeah, man, like I said, the Russo brothers, four out of my five, why wouldn't you bring them back? Everybody flipping out about RDJ, we got the Russo brothers back doing two Avengers movies, so, I'm a little bit excited, but I'm not that excited. I'm like half and half because I, I I know they make real good movies, but I also know Marvel's been trash since Endgame. So, so I got a I got a glimmer of hope. So we are gonna see. And then just saw 
Deadpool and Deadpool was solid. Deadpool was Deadpool was good. It was good. I ain't gonna even front. So that's another glimmer of hope. I thought the movie was solid. The cameos were good. The violence, the action, over the top, great. Uh, everything you would expect from a Deadpool movie. That intro, <laughs> the intro to the movie, man, it set the tone. But the intro was just, just, just bananas, just crazy. Like, I mean, just when you think Deadpool can't get any worse, he just gets worse. So. And then I had a cameo in there that I was not expecting. It, it's good when you know you can go see a movie and have it been spoiled. Spoiler alert if you haven't seen the movie. But um when when Blade showed up, I, I like to lost my my ish. I was like, oh. I was like in pure shock. So yeah, I, I thought the movie was good. The cameos was, was used real good. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna call out no more, but that's probably like the biggest one to me. But uh, but yeah, man, that that movie it was good. So there are some glimmers of hope. Now the whole RDJ plan, Doctor Doom. Don't know about that one. I, I'm curious to see how they pull this off. I got some faith in the Russo brothers, but. I don't know why you would bring back RDJ, who played Tony for all this time to play, I'm assuming, a variant of Dr. Doom, who just so happens to look like Tony Stark. So I don't know, man. I guess we'll, we'll I guess we'll see. That's pretty much all I can say on that. So, but yeah, I'm happy to see the, uh, the Russo brothers back. Definitely. Because. They did some of the best work in the MCU. <laughs>